everyone. Hi, everybody. What's up, Foss Bam? My name's Anne. My name is Lance. And today, we are going to make... Parol! We are going to be making... Parol! <laughs> today, we are going to be making... Parol! <laughs> okay. Now that we know the history of the parole, can you please restate them? Yes! <laughs> and what is it? Paroles are traditionally made using bamboo sticks and um, Japanese paper, and then they are illuminated with a light inside. <laughs> and before you proceed, what do we need? We need 10 of these, they're called balsa sticks, balsa wood sticks. I'm only showing you five, but you need 10 of these. And you also need a dowel, a wooden dowel. Um, we cut this into five two inch pieces. So you need five two inch pieces of this wooden dowel and you'll know it's right when it's circular. You also need 10 rubber bands. You need twine string-ish. And you need, I'm not gonna pick it up, a hot glue gun, a saw if you need to saw the dowel down into five pieces, scissors, glue, and then we're using cello pane at the craft store, Michael's. It's called transparent packaging wrap. But instead you can use um, colored tissue paper. And this makes a really good craft idea to do at home. But we're gonna show you how to do it today. Okay, so first, <laughs> you're gonna have to recreate this by Putting two of these together, like so. Should it even? And then you're gonna put rubber bands around it. You just need one. Just make sure it's tight enough. And one stick goes over the other. It's not side by side. It's like this. So yeah, it's, it's gonna look like that, people. And then after that, you're gonna do it again for another pair of sticks. It's okay if it's not perfectly aligned because you can adjust it since you're only using rubber bands, not glue or anything. Okay, what's next? And now what you gotta do is you're gonna go, you're gonna go ahead and hold both ends and you're gonna intertwine the two. So one goes over, one goes under. See that? Over, under, and same goes for the other side. And if one goes over, one goes under. Yeah, just slide it in. And you're gonna feel a little bit of tension right there, but that's okay. It's not gonna break. Just be careful. And then now, this end right here, all you gotta do is like put them together like this. And you guess it right. Put some rubber band, baby. What's up? Now what you gotta do is take your other stick, so by this point you're only gonna have one stick remaining for the other um, star. So what you're gonna do is the same method you use for the two pairs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna intertwine it, one goes over and one goes under. Yes sir. And what do you do now? There it is! Put some rubber bands! <laughs> You have it you have your star now all you got to do is align it with your other star and make sure they're of the same shape or at least some of the same shape because you're gonna put these two together later and you'll see in the video yeah good so this is where you have to use your five wooden dowel pieces and you're going to hot glue them on each point of the pentagon. You see in the center, the star makes a pentagon. 
We're gonna take one of them and use the hot glue gun. So. Caution. It's hot. <laughs> you can use the cool setting too. But. And then. You gotta the other one. put it on. Bam. Right now, you just wait for it to dry, and then once it's dry and kind of stable, you can start putting glue gun on top of the like glue on top of the bell, and we're just gonna put the saw over it. So we're just gonna wait a bit more to like let it dry for a bit. Good job, you got it. So now, you're just gonna tie it and keep it together, like so. There it is. So, there you go guys, after you tie the ends with the twine, this is how it's gonna look like. So well, the next step is where you can get really creative and use those plastic bags or the colored tissue paper. We're going to use our cellophane and we're going to cover each of the sides except the back. So you have to keep one back, I mean one pentagon open. You can like glue it on and then just cut the excess off. Or um, if you have like multiple colors, especially if you're using like plastic bags and all that, um, you could do different colors for like each side, so like each shape. So the pentagon can be like green or like the triangle can be blue. It's up to you to be creative. So there it is, y'all. So basically all you gotta do is cover it up with like the cellophane or whatever this thing is called here in America. But after that, just leave this open right here. Cause this is where you're gonna put your light if you wanted to it's optional but that's the purpose of like barola so like to light up your your nights you know and then after we did all this we also added some like decorations to make it a little bit more you know like these are all optionals but yeah we made we cut out some like japanese papers and that's put not it on japanese it. Oh, it's not japanese <laughs> what is it <laughs> it's tissue paper okay tissue paper and then like paste it on it and we cut some strips as well. So yeah, there it is. Um, all you gotta do is hang it up. Um, we're still deciding on how we're gonna like do that. I was thinking of like maybe threading a needle in here and then just have a, what's it called? Yeah, thread basically. And then just hang it on anywhere. And yeah, that's how you make pearl. Some tips is to wait until this dries because it'll easily come off. And oh, and also if your um, thing comes loose, you could always use a, well, this is if you use the same material as ours, mm -hmm. but you could always use a heat gun or a, we, we didn't have a heat gun, so we use a, a blow dryer, so. It yeah, just we makes it up. tighter. Mm-hmm. Um, because when we tried to glue it on there, it would it wasn't tight enough to fully wrap around, and so yeah, we just blew a hair dryer over it, so it makes it sleek like that. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but it's our first it. time. We had fun, and we're still learning, like you are, too. See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching.